Hello brothers, brothers, sisters, sisters, how are you doing this? Well, I quickly received that code number back again. So I'm in Keta in a small town called Zolukupe and I met this amazing lady who sells Alihia or uh, Asana or Ekudemi. She has a special way she prepares this drink and I would love to share her recipe with you. So Asana Alihia or Ekudemi or Ghana Coca-Cola is non-alcoholic corn drink made from fermented corn and caramelized sugar. It's also one of the Ghanaians' favorite drink which is sold in the afternoon. Man, it's just Asana in hot afternoon, man, you don't go back to your country or town. <laughs> Should one. What afternoon in Ghana? I need some asana. Yeah, so this woman says as well, you could primary school and uh, anytime you visit Keta or you are in Keta, try her asana and trust me, you go back again. She has a special recipe that she used to twist. Man, it was so nice when I first tried her asana. Yeah, so I hope you like this video. Tell a friend, tell a brother, make sure you subscribe to YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and turn notification bell so be notified when new video drops. Follow us on TikTok as well. Yeah, you record it. What? <laughs> So we have our germinated corn over here and uh, it was soaked for a day and uh, after soaking uh, they took it out and now they are drying it yeah you dry it but they, they, there's a way that you have to dry that the corn will germinate so three to four days you need to have your corn germinated like this so until until your corn germinates you can't use to do aliha or equidemi or asana yeah so this uh germinated corn and not all of them are this hasn't germinated yet so you have to wait then. Today is the second day, that's right. Okay. By tomorrow. Everything will be okay. Yeah. Yo. So every day, morning, evening, you have to sprinkle water, water on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so as she's saying, you have to be sprinkling water on it morning and evening to help it germinate. Uh, it shouldn't be dry, it should be moist. Yeah. Okay, okay. Geminate. Other than that, it's too dry. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so our germinated corn is now ready and now we need to grind it. So we're going to the grinding mill to grind this corn. And the secret that I told you about, or the special treatment that she has or she has discovered, is that she adds millet to the corn and grind them together. So fermented corn with millet to make the aliha or asana. Man, this is something new to me. And that's what makes her asana different from all the asana that I've tried. <laughs> and the millet yeah so they germinated corn for the aliha or asana yeah so you head back home to boil it oh <laughs> 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 When you come, if you, when you visit the airway house, this where they, this the kind of chair that they give over here. So this is mat, homemade mat. Uh, Abba. Uh, Abba. Okay. So homemade mat, cha cha. Uh, cha cha ba. Yeah. Tradition goes on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is where you be relaxing and uh, what you doing? Yeah. Is a. So locally, this is how we set up fire. Before before gas came, this was how our forefathers used to set fire. Anytime they go to the farm, even at home, it's the same thing. Before gas came, and uh, this was the traditional way we used to set fire back then. And uh, it's still nice to see new generation also adhering to the same process. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's interesting. It's always interesting to see the smokes and all those things coming out. All this contributes and gives a flavor to the soup or to the food. Uh, about to eat and it's, it's healthy yeah we are using coconut uh, uh the branches from the coconut the coconut shells itself 
and all the other particles to, to set up the fire. So nothing chemical, nothing, nothing chemical. Okay, yeah, so this is our sugar and now we're about to melt it and uh, we'll be using it for the asana. So we have two cups of sugar being added inside the pot, yeah, on the fire. So anytime you go to a farm, you visit a house and they have a pot or a pan which has this kind of coloring, meaning that pot is the most useful pot in the family, yeah. Everybody uses it, every day we use it. <laughs> They say experience is the best teacher, yeah? Experience is the best teacher, yeah? I can't say I went there or I've seen some, I've done some without having experience of how it was done. It's a no, yeah? So, since I'm here, I need to have the experience. Echo. Italian man will say echo. <laughs> yeah, echo. So, you can follow me, echo. Echo, the Alihameka. Davi, have been to you? Davi, Astro. Davi, look at you. I'm not a Okay, I'm not a Yeah, so we we'll find our, our sugar. Yeah, until everything melts inside. Yeah. Yeah, so we need to fry this until it turns dark, and that's what we're doing. The number one soup with hot water, mokugalama, bama chinagi, number nechi ushia, mokugalama, number kuma. I feel my bona a chipuga quarter a woman, number puchi quarter a zama. I feel my nechi a shivo. I feel my bona a blea hali a hali. I feel my bona halia. Nyamaga a quarter. I feel odd. I feel my number of people, my chugger, plum, number of chicken, plum, my guy chugger. I feel about your soup with Toto, a cone, a cover, oh, Asana, I do, oh, Alia, I do, oh, I be much, I be much, I be much, I be much. To just explain everything in the local language, which is very beautiful, uh, concerning how the process is done, that we first melt or uh, See how black the sugar is. We need to melt and uh, fry the sugar until it turns black before we boil our corn. And uh, later, the sugar will be mixed together with the the, boil, the boiled corn or the liquid from the boiled corn, and uh, that will change the color. Of. So you see how black our sugar is. It's so good. So we just added water to it. So my memory card just got, I had an um, error on my memory card, so when she was pouring the water to Daliha, uh, it couldn't save. That's why you couldn't see when she was pouring the water to the Aliha. Yeah, so we wait for this to boil. And also when uh, frying the, the, the sugar, you need to be very careful. If you over fry it, it will be it will be bitter and the asana will not taste nice. So you should know how the frying procedure goes and how long it should be on fire. And this is our corn mixed with millet, red millet and normal millet. Yeah, so we went to grind but it's not smooth, you see. So we are mixing our grinded corn and millet so first time seeing asana with millet they mix together this is a special recipe so this is david justine recipe yeah yeah uh tonam david tonam mm -hmm. uh, david tonam justine tonam ah temaklo so when it's over boiling you add a bit of water and everything reduced down Yes, yeah, so now our sugar is okay and uh, we are taking it off. So
So this is our fried boiled sugar. This will give the color to the sauna. So now our pot is empty. New water has been added. Hey, my queen, my kusukri toto voila. You see, I'm a kuching to korema. Manana go ofi. Okay. Next year, maga viara kuga. Ako misa. Anya, aha. Maga chia viara kuga. Next year, fi vo. Viara kuga ni se ha. Abi. Okay. Afi ma korejoji. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Ofi ma dia ka a joyin koka. Maga ipa bibi kwa. Maga ipa bibi kwa na bibi kwa. Kama kumu dareka bang. I'm lost over here. I'm lost over here. I'm lost over here. i i <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so what basically what she's saying is um whilst we are waiting for our water to boil uh -huh. when it's hot she will fetch a bit of the world water uh -huh. and try to mash it with our mm. corn okay uh -huh. so when it's done then she will pour it back into the pot okay then we wait for it to boil so whilst it's boiling then she's checking on oh, okay yeah oh, okay oh, okay yeah so um we have our boiling water and now we're taking some off okay so this is how you mix it the water from the pot straight inside the corn and uh you stir it Man, this is a different method altogether, different process. Okay. So this is how it's done. The process is very different from the water side. Okay, so now everything has been re added to the pot on fire. We're boiling this two times. So, the first 30 minutes we boil, and uh, after boiling, we sieve everything. Then, we kept the water aside. Then, the remaining particles that was that was sieved will be reboiled again for about another 30 minutes. Yeah, so we'll be sieving the aleha inside this pan, and this how. Yeah, so this is the setup for the sieving. Yeah, so we have baskets, we have two sticks, one pan, and the sieve. Yeah, this is the sieve of the ancients. Yeah, so once in a while you stir it, yeah, so that it doesn't get stuck down there. Yeah, so it's been 30 minutes, and uh, this is how we have our asana. And uh, she explained that when everything is ready, when everything is ready, you don't need to, um, you don't need to have any water from anywhere added to the sauna. Any water that will come or that will be con uh, contaminated or that will be have contact with the sauna should be from the pot. Yeah. Yeah. So after 30 minutes, we are now taking it from the pot to see. So this is the CV step of it. <laughs> Yeah, so after this, we have to reboil the the chaff or the remaining particles again because she believes there's still food uh, inside this chaff or this remaining. So we will reboil it again. So we're about to do the second sieving and uh, we have our 
tiny or very thin sieve over here. The bucket or your container should be dry as well. You shouldn't have any water in it. Okay, so we start by sieving the sugar. And uh, this is how. Sickly, tele, tele. Ah, sukri toto. Sukri toto. Toto, toto. Now we are about to mix our aliha or equidemi. Anyway, so a bit of sugar has been placed over here and uh, not all. We squeeze it until everything goes inside. We have our smooth liquid of aliha. Yeah, so this is our sieved aliha. And uh, now we are now mixing the two together. And this is what we have. And beware that no water will go inside this aliha. See how thick it is. Very thick. Yeah, yeah, we are have all. That means we are done. Uh, I agree much. I agree yeah. yeah. You see, very thick. Like the aroma coming, like classifies everything. Yeah, the correct, authentic. Very heavy. Wow, very thick. She goes to the market to sell. Uh -huh. When she has more blood, okay. it becomes more watery. Mm, yeah. See, the color sometimes fades. So okay, then it should add the sugar to it okay. to make it dark. Dark. Okay. When this is ready, um, you can't consume it or you can't drink it. You have to wait for 48 hours, which is two days. So you need to leave it for two days before you're able to drink it. So I'm very sorry today. No testing. <laughs> It'll come better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we wait for 48 hours. Yeah, so this is our takeaway. <laughs> yeah, so after 48 hours, it was very thick. So I added a bit of water to it and sugar to taste. And uh, I forgot to do the video. <laughs> I forgot to do the final video. Anyway, it was very nice. And uh, it's that the same that as I tried the first time in Keta. Yeah, so that's it for today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. I hope you're able to follow the steps also to try your alia in this method or with this kind of style. Yeah, so tell our friend, tell our brother, okay, we seen that cool. Let's miss the game. Make sure you subscribe, you share, follow us on Facebook. Yeah, let's do this again for Shizum and Nizel. Orkodo, one. <laughs> oh, yeah,